okay now uh, we have completed the form to add product we have the um, um, uh, database handler the product handler now I'm going to uh, create um, I'm going to create a method let's say that one is a method add product inside our index page so this, this index page is coding for the back end and working only with the uh, page index.xml in that form well, we already coded that on click of the um, um, this button and we're going to call to the method add product of again of the index.js and that one is a function and this functions we're going to wire we're going to use the product handler okay we're going to um, use the product handler project and call to the method add product Okay, so we're gonna first uh, do this one var name access to the name equal to uh, we're going to access to it using its ID which is txt name uh, using the vault method to access to the values uh, var quantity equal to let's just say txt that one is txt quantity that one is in um, we use jQuery mobile uh, syntax okay to access to the element we with the ID is txt name and we get the values from it similarly from here the get val to get the values okay then then um, then um, we have the name quantity already we're going to use the product handler variable and call to add product methods okay um, product handler dot add and we're gonna add the name and the quantity okay we'll add the name and the quantity okay um, um, after adding I think we will just we'll just let's say clear the uh, um, name and the uh, quantity so we'll do something like access to that access to that txt name then uh, set the values you can use the val method both to get and to set if you uh, don't give anything it's to get and if you um, you know um, give the values in it's going to set so so this one you have txt quantity val you're gonna get nothing to clear the form the flow encode is to clear the form and i think that's it that's it it's going to work so we're going to run this one and let's just see okay Okay, I'm going to right click and close all the other tabs. Close other tabs. Yeah, this one and focus on this one. We want to inspect to have a, a mobile look. So we'll have this one as product one and the quantity is one. We're going to click on add and let's just see if I have any errors. It seems like I have an error. Okay, let's just look at it. Um, create a device is fully okay. Actually, we should say. A create or access to the database access successfully. Um, Pro handler is not defined yet. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because we haven't included it in our code. So let me get back to this one. And in this, we need to load the product handler. And the product handler is using the database handler. So you need to load it after this. So it is the product handler. Okay, we're going to rerun this one. Okay. All I loaded with the status is 200. So we're going to inspect this one to have a mobile look. Okay, we don't have any error yet. This one is accessibly now. We're going to say product one. We're going to have quantity one. And we have another errors. Okay, let me just see. Uncut product handler is not a function. Product handler add is sorry that method is supposed to be add product. I think product handler add product not add. So this one must be add product. I mean anyway, it is a good way for you because this one there is no. Uh, I'm using the community edition, so there is no JavaScript code suggestion. But it's always good to uh, see inspect and run console, and it's showing you the errors there. Nice to know, right? So you can debug your um, JavaScript. Okay, let's, let's just rerun this one. Okay. Okay, now close this, close this, inspect. 
Okay, look at the console and see product one, one. Click on save. Wow, it seems like working and I don't have any errors. So let's just see if it's really working. So we're going to go to applications. Okay, then we're going to go through web SQL, go to products database, product table, and yes, we have we have the product route for the product one added over here. Okay, and um, you do see an issue with two of the um, ID columns that I already explained before. By default, WebSQL created one of column like this for you. So, no big deal. So, let me just add another product, product two, quantity two. Add, okay, let me just go around. Up. Mm, okay, this one is working. Okay, so it is working, but then for um, mobile devices, I think we should do some further um, help for um, interactive design. So let's just make one first uh, improvement, which is for the form itself, we should add a clear button so that you can clear, uh, user can just click on that X icon and clear all the text that they input if they input wrongly. So you can go to this, um, let's uh, see, form basics. Forms, forms, where is that one? Form basics, okay. You'll see, let's uh, see, you're going to be able to, this one, data, clear, button, sure. It's gonna help you to uh, display a, a button, like cross button to clear the text field if you wrongly input it, clear all the text field. So you're going to just add data, clear, button, okay, data, clear, button, equal to true, okay. Similarly, for the quantity, you can do that one as well. You can do that one as well. Data, clear, button, sure. Okay, data, clear, button, sure. So it's going to clear automatically. That one is first aspect in interaction design. Secondly, for mobile devices, uh, you may very frequently input the data wrongly. So uh, actually before adding, we should validate, okay, uh, the, um, the data and inform the users inform the users about the um, 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 data that they have input and allow them to have a chance to get back and edit the data um, if they need um, but I think it's going to be best for um, additional features so uh, for the one who are interested so we'll separate it in a new video then